Ah, so it's not just Aaron Blanchfield, huh? <laughs> not just Aaron Blanchfield. My girl King Casey O'Neal as well, guys. For one, side note, I know we're still waiting on the Tatiana Suarez, Patchy Mitch interview, guys. That interview is coming. That session is coming. Just be patient with your boy. Just be patient. You know how unpredictable it is to try to, how hard it is to try to coordinate one fighter, let alone two. But guys, posted by WMMA Rankings, guys, we have a fight being lined up. Flyweight fight between Jennifer Maya and Casey O'Neill targeted for UFC 286 in London on March 18th. Uh, this is the test that everybody's been wanting. This is the type of test that everybody want to see Casey O'Neill fight. So here we go. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Let's go. Let's 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 read this. Let's see what they had to say. So it was March 18th, UFC London. Emma Allen, a flyweight fight between former flyweight title challenger Jill from my undefeated prospect Casey O'Neill. My punched her way back into the wind column with the Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So not really much there. Not really much there. Just saying whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this is it. Here we go. You got Casey O'Neill versus Jennifer Maya in the works, guys. This fight is actually going to go down. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's in the works as of right now. So, you know, when you hear that really kind of means like, okay, you know, a contract has been offered, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I've seen, I, you know, I want to think of you guys as like seasoned MMA fans. You know what I'm saying? So us being seasoned MMA fans, we got to know that, you know, in order for us to believe it, we got to hear that, you know, both sides are confirmed, you know what I'm saying, I want to see the fighters posting it on their social medias, you know what I'm saying, but I knew, I knew King Casey O'Neill was going to get a fight like this coming up, yes, Jennifer Maya has fallen down the rankings, you know what I'm saying, she's not like where she once was, you know what I'm saying, but Jennifer Maya, that doesn't take anything away from Jennifer Maya, that doesn't take anything away from Jennifer Maya, these are the type of girls that Jennifer Maya is going to have to fight, you know what I'm saying, to prove that she is still something in, in this division because Jennifer Maya went on a little streak where she wasn't doing so hot, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, Maya went on a streak where she wasn't doing so hot. You know? Um, but she wins. She beats Marina Morose. Now it's time to fight King Casey O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? I think Casey O'Neal, this is a good fight to, you know, Casey O'Neal is a type of opponent, type of fighter that doesn't really, she wants to jump right back into it. You know what I'm saying? She's been training hard. You know, what's holding her back has been, you know, what took her down. Is, is, is she's, she's past that. It's time to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? It's time to rock and roll for my girl, King Casey O'Neal. This is a test, guys. As much as I like Jennifer Maya, this is a test for Casey O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? Because Jennifer Maya, you know, big, strong, physical flyweight. You know what I'm saying? Formal title challenger. You know what I'm saying? Went in there and fought Valentino for five rounds. You know what I'm saying? And never, never slowed, never showed any signs of defeat. You know what I'm saying? You know, and 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 went in there and did it. You know what I'm saying? And King Casey O'Neill. You know what I'm saying? My girl, all the confidence in the world, solid skill set. You know what I'm saying? Solid skill set. May not have the pop on her punches like like a Jennifer Maya does. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like punch selection and activity, you know what I'm saying? King Casey O'Neill really would have to maximize her tools in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've talked in the past about King Casey. It looks like she may be like, has some like some balance issues. Like sometimes she can get off balance and girls can take her down. You know what I'm saying? Like that can be, that can arise as a problem in this fight with Jennifer Maya. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know how this fight is going to go. You know, it could be a striking match. It could be a fight on the ground. All I know is that either party, both parties are ready to fight anywhere that a fight takes place at. You know what I'm saying? I can confidently say that any of these two, this is this is a, this is going to be a very well-rounded fight. We're going to see we, we can see potentially a lot of different skill sets being displayed by both of these girls in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> At least we know now. That neither one of these two are fighting Tatiana Suarez. So the question still remains who is Tatiana Suarez fighting? But, anyways, guys, this is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. We're putting y'all some breaking fucking news. Breaking news. I didn't forget it, guys. I didn't forget it. Breaking fucking news. <laughs> this is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like. Hit that dislike, and if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and your boy is out.